For McMurray Wood Buffalo and the rest of the world, you've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and as per usual, we're going to start this off on the same note, positivity. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. And on that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW. Uh... Coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down, check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. Big shout out to Norrell Toyota, Keith Nimmer, all the boys and girls down at Norrell. Thank you for your ongoing support. We do appreciate it. As you can probably see, it looks and sounds a little bit different. Our cameras all died, so we're on the backup. So please be patient with us. On that note, as you are also aware, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So sir, can you reintroduce yourself to the people at home? Absolutely. Uh, I'm Peter Daly. I'm a municipal uh, employee, a bylaw officer, and a peace officer. There you go. So, you've been on the show two times before now? Yeah, I think third, so. Third appearance? Yeah. And before, you couldn't uh, talk about where you, what you did, where you worked. So, thank you for like putting in the legwork and being patient with the municipality and myself. Like, it took a, a while to get permission. So, for I'm sure. pumped. Yeah, me that, too. Because you and I have known each other our whole lives. So, Long I know time. you as like what you do so and yeah. I, listen I love talking about wrestling and we're going to talk about wrestling today too excellent but um yeah it's cool that we can talk about your job a little bit now I don't yeah have to, for like, sure and I mean that elephant out of the room that that's the thing the municipality is interested in that too right yeah we're, we're wanting to be out there in the community and and this is part of that yes yeah. you know putting ourselves out there that's and, right yeah so we talked about it a little bit and Tanner always makes fun of me um I have no issue or fear with peace officers, bylaw officers, RCMP, customs, like, I, I, I'm a weirdo in mm -hmm. regards, like, we were just sitting downstairs before, and you can see, people are nervous around you, yeah. just in uniform, just, they're literally, I don't, I don't have that, I, I've only literally had positive interactions with law enforcement my whole life, so, big shout out to law enforcement, all my interactions have been positive, Excellent. but I really do feel a large component of that is because I'm so comfortable with you, though. That could be, too. I mean, and then you've also got, I think, too, there's a lot of people, uh, you know, we're very multicultural here in, That's in right. the RMWB, and we've got people from all across the world. So mm -hmm. when you're dealing with people on a, you know, in a work basis, yeah. sometimes they don't know what the interaction's going to be. That's because right. Because maybe law enforcement in their neck of the woods is a little different. So right. Right. It's kind of incumbent on us as well as law enforcement officers to to talk to people and and show them you know there's there's not a whole lot to be worried about. That's right. That's right. Now, can you? Because th there's one thing that I think a lot of people would have the question for. Because I know it's always been in the back of my head. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the different branches? Like you have RCMP, mm -hmm. you have bylaw. Um, there's another. There's highway. I think. Or, yeah, um, the sheriffs. Sheriffs. Thank yeah, you very much. The solicitor so, like, general. What is like? Why do you have these different uh, bodies of law enforcement, and and how do they act, or how do they? Um, work differently? What are right. they responsible for? Yeah, and it, that's a good question. It always comes up, understandably. Yeah. I mean, same thing. If you're in the community, you see people in light brown uniforms, black uniforms, gray uniforms, etc. That's et right, that's right. So most of the difference comes uh, comes where where their authority comes from. Okay. Or what they what offenses they deal with. Okay. So for us as bylaw officers, yeah, uh, you'll see we're all in a dark uniform. Right. Um, a community peace officer, which means you get your authority from the provincial government for enforcing provincial statutes. Okay. So okay. Um, you'll see we've got a gray stripe on our pants. Yeah. Gray shirt. Um, and so we're kind of lucky because we do get that authority from the province, but even mm -hmm. before that, we mm -hmm. get delegated authority from council. Okay. Um, so that's where our bylaw officers get get the ability to enforce uh, municipal 
bylaws. Okay. Basically. Okay. And, okay. And municipal bylaws, the Municipal Government Act gives the municipality the uh, ability to pass bylaws. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, can be things going on in the community. Right. Like we've got. Uh, Parking bylaw, we've got community standards bylaw, yeah. we've got the responsible pet ownership bylaw, the vehicle for hire bylaw, right. et cetera, et cetera. So right, 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 any right. issues that are in the community that uh, that they need us to look at, then mm -hmm. they can pass a bylaw and we, we deal okay. with that. Okay. Yeah. And Same so, thing with the RCMP. Yeah. The difference is, yeah. um, they're also de facto municipal bylaw officers. Okay. Just by virtue of their, their office. Yeah. All encompassing. Yeah. And they're also, uh, you know, they're police officers for the province, for for the, the country, everything. So right. they deal with criminal code, provincial statutes like speeding, mm -hmm. etc., mm -hmm. and municipal mm -hmm. bylaws. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this is like a, one of my favorite movies, The Super Troopers. Yes. It's such a good movie. So top ten. Yeah, top ten movies for sure. So. A component of that is like in that movie you have like a, a rivalry going between like the two different uh, bodies, right? Yeah. So in obviously I'm assuming it's not like that in real life. <laughs> you guys aren't chugging syrup and getting mad at each other. Well. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how like who who has if you should like let's say it's a bylaw that both of you guys are able to mm -hmm. kind of enforce the the law yeah who takes higher stature on that or is it first come first serve like how does that well work out? it's interesting any any RCMP member who's out there and they see a, a, a bylaw offense taking place yeah. they can deal with that for sure right the thing is is that the police of jurisdiction as they're called yes. have bigger fish to fry right, right? they've right. got you know criminal code matters they're looking at and yeah. and you know protection of of life and property so yeah. they're pretty they're pretty busy yeah. so they'll defer to us a lot of the time okay. right we've we're dealing with those municipal bylaw issues with some provincial statutes right. so we have the time to go and deal with them okay okay cool yeah. cool <clears throat> well listen tanner just uh shook his phone at me telling me his questions ready so uh tanner before we get into the max city minute let's hear from Carrie and Patchouli Rose. Hi, it's Carrie with Patchouli Rose Herbal Apothecary. I know our summer is coming quickly to an end. Um, and during the summer, we always think of applying our sunscreen. But sunscreen is a product that we should be using every day of the year to protect our skin against harmful UVA and UVB rays, also against premature aging. I have a product called Dandelion Harvest, which is moisturizing, anti-inflammatory, and is great for anti-aging. You can use this every day of the year and it's very moisturizing. If you wanna check this product and any of my other products out, please go to patchoulirose.com. Okay, and we're back. Carrie, thank you so much. Appreciate everything you have to say. Love having you as a sponsor. Tanner, hit them with the Maxi in a minute. <clears throat> Alrighty, question number one. What is one thing you were not expecting to have to do while in uniform? Uh, one thing I guess I could talk about is, um, yeah, just dealing with, with uh, you know, safety issues. I was, uh, it was a winter's night. It was, you know, as it gets in Fort McMurray, it was, yeah. you know, below minus 20. Right. And uh, I was driving down the road here in Timberlee, and all of a sudden, a toddler ran out in the road. No shoes. Yeah. No jacket. Yeah. No idea what was happening, so you know, picked them up and and with our partners in the RCMP, we were able to get them back home. Hmm. They had just stepped outside of the house, the door closed behind them. Oh. Nobody was any the wiser. So right. uh, things like that that you come across that you really aren't expecting. But again, we're out in the community, so yeah, yeah. you know, any part we can play for safety is is good. Yeah, cool. Question number two. No. What is one story that you can tell us that makes you laugh from your time as a peace officer? Hmm, there are a lot because there's <laughs> constantly funny stuff going on. Yeah. Um, but I think uh, one of the really funny ones was uh, I, I had been dealing with uh, an off-highway vehicle on this one day and uh, we had received a complaint about it. Hmm. So we went, found the off-highway vehicle 
and uh, spoke to the driver who swore up and down he had registration insurance couldn't provide anything mm -hmm. uh, but what he did provide was his license plate from the back of the vehicle yeah. and it was cardboard so he just and he drew in the orange the blue <laughs> he had an expiry uh, placard there yeah, yeah, yeah. just funny that is yeah. hilarious was it legal no. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cool. But the license plate was right. Yeah. <laughs> Question number three. Awesome. What is the weirdest law you can remember having to enforce? Hmm. The weirdest law. Well, I know there's there's still on the books a bylaw. Um, it's the firearms bylaw. And one of the sections in there deals with bow and arrows. So inside the municipality, you're not allowed to fire a bow and arrow. Yeah. Uh -oh. I, I have a bow and arrow story after this. Anyways, oh, there you go. Going, uh... <clears throat> Question number four. What is the coolest event you can remember going to as a bylaw officer? Um... Other than the Max City Morning Show. Uh, well, that's, <laughs> yeah, this would be my go. number one right. for sure. Yeah. Um, I think probably the coolest event that I got to go to uh, was just after the, the wildfire in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, so we went to a, a celebration after everything was over and uh, everybody came back and we were provided with uh, with uh, some awards for mm. for our part in that. Yeah. And I, that was a really cool event because um, it was down at Mac Island. Right. And, you know, there were tons of people there. Yeah. Everybody was, you know, very very happy to be back in town right. and together right. so yeah. that was a really cool moment cool and your final question in your in opinion what is the best law enforcement film made oh. that's a hard one. Oh, that's a good one, one very proud of that one to, one pops in my mind right away i got one but too. i don't think it's the best but like it's the first one that popped into my mind the first one that popped into my mind was heat Okay. Yeah. All right. Or like Serpico. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, 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 yeah. There's yeah. so many good ones. Yeah. Mine's Naked Gun. Okay. There you go. Leslie Mine was, uh, I think it's called Cop Out with uh, mm -hmm. um, Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan. Yeah, yes. that one's pretty good It's so good stupid. Too. It's not yeah. the best, but like... Tracy okay. Morgan. Tracy hilarious. Morgan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good questions, Dad. Those have been your five questions. Yeah. So, speaking of bow and arrows, so... You think as a kid, like we had bow and arrows growing up, mm -hmm. you know, that shot like the little sticky things. Mm -hmm. So I've heard about like, yeah, bylaws that you're not allowed to shoot them in, in city limits or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, that's a stupid bylaw. Yeah. That being said, fast forward a few years ago, um, a friend of the family's took us out to the gun range yeah. to like shoot bow and arrows with my little son. Mm -hmm. And I got one of these things. The amount of power these oh, suckers have. Crazy. Hey? Of course you shouldn't fire them yeah. in town. Yeah. Of course. You know. Like. See, then you understand. You it. understand when you get, because in my head, I'm like, it's a bow and arrow. What are we talking about here? Just, like, it yeah. doesn't even make it to the other side of the room. All of a sudden, he's like, <clears throat> see that target that looks like a dare all the way over there? I'm like, no way. Yeah. No way. And he's, zoop. And sticks it. I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't be able like, to fire Like, I these guess it's probably I, a good idea. Uh, I'm surprised yeah. that that isn't a bylop everywhere that's right you know that's well right. and you'll see that too actually like yeah. across a lot of municipalities uh and, and cities in yeah. alberta or anywhere yeah. for that matter yeah you'll see a lot of the common themes right like mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. municipalities again they're allowed to make bylaws and they deal with things that aren't dealt with provincially or, that's right. or federally so. that's right that's right yeah hmm. i've got a question in regards to bylaw versus rcmp again mm -hmm. i've never had to do either one but if i wanted if, if people want to get in contact with you yeah how do they get in contact with you 911 well i, I know <laughs> that, well that's my question i know about 911 but like does that go to you does that go to them like who do that, thank you tanner who does 911 phone calls go to so i believe it's a bit complicated now and okay i might be speaking out of turn okay but I believe when you call 911 here, yeah. Yeah. it goes down to the call center in Edmonton. Okay. And then they it bounces up. back up to the detachment. Okay. Um, but I guess the root of my question is it could go to either one of you. Well, see, with uh, with with our contact info, the city's yeah. actually kind of been ahead of the curve on this. Okay. Uh, so they've got the pulse line. Yes. So if see? you have concerns about 
anything in yes. the municipality. You just yeah. call 743-7000. Yeah. You'll get in touch with one of the pulse operators. Right. Uh, they're awesome. They so are. Shout out to them. Yeah. And For a lot uh, of positive stuff. Yeah. If it's a bylaw issue, they'll forward it right to us. It'll be dispatched and right. uh, we'll take care of that. That's right. And if it's a RCMP non-emergency issue, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you want to follow up with a ticket or a file that yeah. you had there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could contact their non-emergency line. Yeah. Because it was one of those things where, like when you call 911, like that, to me in my head, I'm like, oh, that's serious business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the, like there are things, I would assume that most people, not me, I have not used it, but I, I wanted you to bring up the pulse line because yeah. I'm like, I think it's like, uh, hey, this is not an emergency, it's not life or death, but somebody should be here dealing with this, what are my options? That's right. And so the pulse line, I, I've only heard positive things oh, about Oh, it's great. Yeah. And I mean, they generate, they have their own reporting system, so yeah. it generates a unique number yeah. and it, it goes to yeah. the department that needs to get it yeah, yeah, and then they call you back yeah. so it's great yeah. now oh, no, five minutes left okay i'm gonna go over today i know i'm gonna go over today. oh let's do it so, yeah so um let's get off rcmp for a second although fascinating i have lots of questions and i'm glad the municipality let you come here so we can shout yeah. out municipality yeah we'll, we'll yes. normalize it yeah exactly um, let's talk about some fun stuff for a second though there's a lot going on in the wrestling world nowadays mm. There's a lot going There's on. There's a lot going on. So you are, we, we literally just had a, a professional wrestler. I saw him, he was gigantic. Huge. He was almost he as big as me. Alex. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I, felt, yeah. I felt like, hey, finally somebody my stature. You know, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Half the size of me. Yeah. Yeah. So what's going on? What's exciting you in this world right now? Man, I'm telling you, the last time I think I was here, we were talking about it. It just kind of started getting hot. AEW. Yep. yep. Oh, my God. Okay. Amazing show. Okay. So they just had their pay-per-view on Sunday. Right. And uh, you see Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks won yeah. the first ever Trios Championship. Okay. So it's not even a tag team. It's three belts. That's right. Kind of cool. That is neat. Yeah. There's one person in particular I have to ask you about. Maybe you saw the match. Maybe you didn't. But it looks like uh, Mr. Paul. Logan Paul has got into wrestling. I saw that. And I'm hearing a lot of positive uh, reviews of his athleticism and his showmanship. Did you see? I or are you like see just hearing? I'm just exclusive now to that AEW. Really? Yeah. Haven't been watching the WWE. Wow. Okay. I got to ask. Like, and everybody had like, I got to ask why? Why? Why have you gone exclusive to the one? It's just so good. Okay. It's just so good. And they've got some fresh ideas. There's some fresh blood in there. Yeah. And they've got some legends in there as well. CM Punk just won the title there. So. Okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, I love it. It's very entertaining. Okay. So Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights on what channel? Uh, AEW you. is on, you know, I don't even know with this new Shaw system. Yeah. Well, I'm what getting channel? older. I don't know. You don't know the number? I don't know because there's like hundreds now. Oh. Um, you know what I mean? Because I don't know the names of the, like, what, but I know the, well, I don't have cable anymore. A little insight into my life there that I've never go. shared. I don't even have cable anymore. See? But, uh, huh. Yeah, I'm not mad at you for not remembering yeah. the channel because, you know, I could What do you do, right? That's right. So, I've got another question wrestling-based. Um, after, every time you come on the show and any time we bump into each other, where we bump into each <coughs> other, um, I get excited about wrestling. And when that guy came on, I was really <coughs> pumped up about it. Mm -hmm. Where can you go see wrestling live? Because I had a, did you, you've gone see wrestling live, right? Yeah, I went, he, I was lucky. I did pay-per-views. Yeah. I went to some live events. What were you going to so say? So he informed me. Yeah. Because like my favorite part about wrestling, mm -hmm. not my favorite part, one of my favorite parts though, is the announcers. Yes. I love the announcers and they're like, ah, like the guy with the it's high amazing. pitch voice. But then I was like, in every other live sporting event I've gone to. You don't hear it. You don't, you, there's no announcer. Same thing. So it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, you, you kind of miss out on that part. That's it, right. right. But he was telling me, like, it's because it's a show, and obviously, like, so many people still go. Yeah. But, like, because you're only seeing your half of the ring, mm -hmm. if some stuff is going down on the other half, like somebody's coming with the crowbar, yeah. And that other side of the stadium is like, ah, they no, go nuts, no, no, right? you don't know what's happening. You're like, what's no, going on? No, not on until side? they cut to him smoking That's right. him with something, you know? So, this got me thinking. I need to go see a wrestling match. Yeah. Because I've never been to one, and that is an aspect of, like, oh, Elliot, what's we, it going to be like. So, we'll like, go. where, when, how? Well, like, I mean, we could look at it. There's there's uh, Raw, I believe. I don't know if it's Raw or if yeah. it's just a house show, but yeah. there's something coming up in Edmonton 
on either the 24th or the 26th of September. Ah, uh, you I, might be I, I, can't, I can't tell you why I can't go to that on air. Yeah, I got you. But well, we'll do one of these shows. Yes, okay. I'd okay. even go to the WWE for you, pal. Yeah, I just looked at the. I looked. At, I we'll talk about it off air. I can't. I can't discuss why I can't go to this on okay. that date. But uh, it's not because of his job, though. It's not because of my job. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, okay. No, like we need to put this in calendar because. Like, yeah, we I would, will. I'd love we'll to. We'll go to one. We'll check take Jossie with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll oh be gosh. awesome. I was just down. Have you have you been out to their their lake area? Uh, yes. Oh, Amazing, man. hey! It's uh, it's unreal. And I they've done a lot of work. Lots, and I took my mom there for the first time, and she's seeing it now for the first time. But then we had to explain to her this was all bush. Yeah. Before, and she's just like, "What?" And like, yeah, from there, like everything you see. Yeah, they've been working on it for years. Years. Yeah. Did you see awesome. what uh, I put it? Like, I, I'm allowed to talk about it because I put it in my <laughs> Facebook story a few days ago. Um, my uncle Harold ended up buying one of those rescue trucks at auction. Yes. Have you seen this I did see it. I saw it at the house and I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, That's these... awesome. Tanner, man, you got to check this thing. Like, I, I'll show you the picture afterwards. Oh, I can I only show you the video of it. But they had like a Syncrude rescue truck. Yeah. Like it's like a fire <laughs> truck, basically. Yeah, it's like, like a fire those truck. Giant, like those Unimogs or like the actual fire truck? It's uh, like it's it has it's like big. it has it has the ladders and everything. It doesn't have like the pump system, but it was for rescue. Anyways. They bought they they bought it recreationally. Yeah, and like they use it because it has this huge winch on it. So they does it have like a truck bed or is it a SUV? Oh, it's no, got it's the whole like, like thing. It's got like the backup seats and everything yeah. in it, and like it's yeah. all encased and it's awesome. ridiculous. Boys and toys, you know, boys That's and it. toys out there. Like I I could understand with like the tractor and like the trailers and everything. I'm like, okay, this all makes sense. And then I show up and they have Fire this truck. rescue truck. I'm like, just in case. What are we doing with this out here? That's it. Oh so, yeah. Awesome. No, Justin going. Oh, speaking of, like, welcome to the randomness of the show. <laughs> I think you're the one who went with him to this. So it's I don't have a lot of regrets in my life. <clears throat> I mm -hmm. really don't, luckily. Oh, I know what it is. But I was talking to Justin. I was like, I have, there's only one thing I have a regret on. It's and Montreal. Like, it's Montreal. Yeah, I knew You it. were the one who went, right? Yeah. You went with him. Yeah. Oh. Amazing. Please tell me, because this is, uh, this is at the time of Kanye in his finest. This is when, I can't even say the words, but he's in Paris song. Yeah is out and it's one of my f it gets the crowd going and they played it like six times oh. fellas in paris that's the, the fellas in paris oh. yeah that's, yep. that's the what PG. was that like to they see just live? kept playing and it was amazing yeah they were if i'm not mistaken they were hours late for the show yeah like they had things going on i guess they had to do yeah nobody cared yeah nobody cared it was just amazing uh, so good just so talented yeah and, and that's before Jay Z and Kanye. That's before Kanye went into like these concerts of him floating and him going on rants. Like I feel yeah. like if you're gonna see Kanye, that was when you should see him. It was before he was male or uh, early Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And so I was telling Jesse, I was like, and at the time too, like when I look back at my life, especially with what my life is now mm -hmm. i'm just like there would have there was no reason i couldn't have gone to that like i didn't have a legitimate reason i told him no right off the bat yeah he's like elliot i got this concert he doesn't call me elliot by the way but uh he's like i got this concert like do you want to come to it and i was like i can't and uh he's like ellie why not come on let's do this and i was like i talked to ethna and she's like eh. and, like, I'm just, and I, I was trying to backtrack i'm like you know what there was literally no legitimate reason but you know what sometimes yeah. at the time that's the decision you made that's right there's that's right. some sort of reason right. for it right so but i'm very envious of you next time next time we'll all go that's right so you got to see kanye and jay-z and like he was wearing like uh kilts back then too yeah he was he was actually i believe he was wearing a kilt that night yeah black one yeah yeah just Very amazing ambient. so like they played it like six times oh yeah definitely the con best concert i was ever at yeah, yeah it yeah. was amazing when they when they played that song in paris they played it so many times it held the guinness world record for most songs played really yeah, like most most times the single songs played at a show yeah guaranteed because that gets the songs. party going oh yeah they played it for a full hour yeah yeah, yeah. Dun, and dun, i mean you could tell they're dun, really dun, enjoying themselves dun, dun. Then. yeah 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 very Crazy. cool 
So I know we're over, and I know that camera is about to shut off soon. Yep, what are we at? It's flashing. Okay. Twenty three seventeen. Oh, UK. Listen, you got to give your shameless shout out or plug really quick. The boys over at Thickwood Barber Shop. Hello. Thank you. I got to grow some hair so I can go back and get a haircut. There you go. I'll tell you a funny story about that. But uh, yeah. Okay. My man, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the municipality for making this happen. Like it does mean the world to me. Um, big shout out to our title sponsor, Neural Toyota and Carrie. Thank you guys for your ongoing support. Um, and thank you everybody else for tuning in. It means the world to me. I hope you're having a nice day and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. It's so ballistic. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. <laughs>